You have a little bit of a razor line way up here, yeah. but it doesn't get into the natural spot stuff. And then uh, he's got that bushier mustache. Yeah, yeah. And then we'll just like tuck it in a little higher. Cool. Yeah, that works. I, I don't really like, trust a whole lot of people to trim my beard because I, I did have it. Like I said, it was, it took about eight, eight inches off back in May. And then last, I think last November, I had taken like another eight inches off. So it was, it was pretty long, man. And uh, I've had two people mess up my beards, you know, my beard trims and stuff. So I don't trust a whole lot of people with it, man. But I knew coming down here, I'd probably be in good hands. So. So even though we have already spoken about this briefly, what is uh, what is kind of like the the goal right now? What are we what are we thinking about doing with this? Just wanted guy? to take the sides way down, man. Leave the length in the front, fade fade it up on the sides. So a little more aggressive with the uh, this little section right here. Yeah. Bring this down to skin, kind of blend into the into the head, and then uh, and then you're liking the uh, the overall. Do, how about the shape itself? Do you are you digging the, the overall shape, or do we need yeah, to make it a little I, I more? Yeah, I like I like it to come forward a little bit, like okay. shaped a little bit forward. Just you know, not not extreme, but. And yeah, I see that you put some some effort into it. You have a little blow dryer and brush yeah. action. You got a heat brush or something like that. Yeah. Uh, I just use the the blow dryer and the comb method, man. That uh, from Brzezinski's video, like yeah. the old school one from uh, a few years ago. How we all how we all aspire to to get a piece of that Brzezinski beard. I see that you you give yourself a little bit of a trim there. I do. That side's hard to do, man. The yeah. other side I can do it, but I, I have like a little mole right there, and so it, and it doesn't grow as straight as the other side I so would, I, I try to keep it i would i would commit since yours it kind of it stops pretty naturally it doesn't grow into your eyeballs like so much like yeah. mine mine i have hair way up here in my high cheek um i'd let these guys grow into the rest of it okay. and then just tap the top of this just yeah the then you don't have to okay. worry about that ever so like i was following that cheek line it's a little more exaggerated here at the bottom So when I'm yanking these guys out, instead of trimming them right up to the to where this hair is, I'm gonna trim a little bit beyond that just so they have cool. enough area to and you can snag onto them still and, and curl them a bit before it starts shrinking up completely. Yeah. Cause you can still pat them in just like that and they're, they're gone. Your natural sideburn starts right there. So just take that off right away. Yeah. And this guy will. That's my, this is regular adjustable clipper and then open all the way up, that's a half, so. I've been here for 10 years, man. I moved down here from Chicago. Hey. Grew up on the north side and uh, found my way down to Texas as quick as I could, I guess. Do you guys have humidity in Chicago? We do, man. Believe it or not, it's, it's, it's not as hot up there, but it's really freaking humid. Fading those cheeks out a little bit. I was telling him we got I got five kids, so it's kind of hard to travel, man. We oh man, yeah. yeah. Even with those free hookup miles. Yeah, <laughs> even even with that, man, it's. So we usually fly standby. Oh, and, nice. uh, normally we haven't had any problems. Last year we got stuck in uh, Orange County. We, we got stuck at LAX for like five days last year. We couldn't get out. So we just kind of... That's, like, that's we, good Yeah, it was a good place at. to get stuck yeah, at. So we, we just spent some extra time at Huntington Beach and, shit and just kind of just hung out but uh i've heard some incredible stories about being able to learn how to fly standby you can go oh, to some yeah. really cool places like oh, first yeah. class oh yeah so we we can fly anywhere first class and then it's free it's free to travel in the u.s and then if we fly internationally it's uh we just pay the taxes so and we can fly on other airlines too so like we basically they have this program where all the airlines kind of cooperate with each other for for standby and stuff so but you got to roll the dice and sometimes you get stuck. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> you do get stuck, man. I'm trying to be real gentle with the, uh, the hair you got here because some of them are pretty short. 
and then just from like uh, some of the last trims, and then some of them were really long, yeah. starting way That's up That's what here. I was saying. It was so. it wasn't a it wasn't a good trim at all. So I want to be careful not to uh, take so much meat off right out right away. I want to kind of blend it. So normally I I've been stuck on that that shaving cream for like years, and then I was like I'll try the utility bar. So. Eric had mentioned it and put a video on, on the Alliance page and he was like, man, I think you should try the utility bar. So I tried it out, man, and it did. It really worked well. I was, uh, he asked me to shave his face. Yeah. We were I was totally not prepared for that when we did that video. It's been on the YouTube ad for a little yeah. while. And he's like, yeah, you're shaving me all the way. And I was like, whoa. I was like, man, I don't have a hot towel warmer here. It was like <laughs> very, uh, not on the fly, but it was just like, I wasn't ready yet. Yeah. I think he was trying to, yeah. trying to mess with me. Anyway, we dig in there and he's like, yeah, I got you, man. Utility bar. I was like, really? Yeah. Sure enough, man. Yeah, it lathers really good. And then the oil in it and stuff is just. Exactly. That's the key right yeah. there. See, so it's nice and slick. So you like you like the length of the mustache, we just need to clean it up. Yeah, clean it up, take it off the, the lip a little bit. So you can see these guys are about the same length. Yeah, yeah. Um, the I'll leave a lot of that bulk. I want to even it out, but okay. that's pretty much it. I won't I won't cut into the density. It's like my stash almost grows in like blonde. In some spots, it's, I, uh, I like it, man. I mean, it's, it's no, it's super common to have uh, your mustache be a little lighter for yeah. whatever reason. It's uh, I see it pretty often. If it's not a little blonder than the rest, it's uh, it's either really dark like mine or it's uh, orange. Yeah. So for this guy, yeah, I usually just yank it out all the way out here and. Look for those that thickness and then just cut into it. That way it blends in easily and then But it's 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 a it's amazing because I it gives me so much more than just being able to to trim a beard and make it look really great and you know give a good fade uh you know i get to to meet people and kind of go on journeys with them it's uh it's about just being being a community yeah really you awesome. get to have great conversations and be with people i mean i've had guys getting broken up with in my chair you know I'll find out that they've lost people it's it's yeah it's a it's you do it long enough yeah. and you get to be there for people and then the vice versa they Lots of support for me and a lot of guys and gals in our in our industry as we've had the the lockdown and everything. So yeah. people showing love and uh, like I said, I think it's because we have we're in your personal space. Yeah. We are in your bubble. So it's it's just yeah. comes really easy. It becomes easier to to be homies. So I want to soften up the hair because since you styled it, I want to make sure that I'm not missing any of those guys that are kind of curled up. I'm going to brush it out, blow dry it again, then uh, just keep on polishing it. Uh, let you see it before we uh, call it a day. Yeah, I wanted to relax that hair a little bit since, like I said, you, you styled it and it was looking great, but I want to make sure that we, it's nice and even because yeah, yeah. those guys will hang out and, and they'll, they'll hide. shaving my head since I was like 16 so you know and then growing the beard out I mean it was you know I started growing it just 
probably five, six years ago, maybe. But I'm starting to see a lot of grays come oh, out. Oh, yeah. There's no, uh, no hiding from it, man. Yeah. Uh, makes us look distinguished. Yeah. yeah we, like we've earned some things in life. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go and sit you up real quick. Right. How does that feel in that chair? Yeah, man. Yeah. It's another tricky spot with the razor, man. I really I like to Put a little bit of a line on the mustache, but yeah, it's in, exactly. I'm seeing where you get where you have yeah. done it. I'm so I'm just trying to tap where you have had it. Um, I've gone into the, it a couple times too much, man. So puffing your lip, a lot of stretch. Um, you can also use your the back of your finger to just uh, use as a guide to just kind of do yeah. one of those. Okay. Um, so I would do one of these and then just like just a quick little quick little motion like that. Um, yeah, it's all about that puff, that puff, that puff right. lip and um, good little stretch. Puff that up again. Yeah, because I'm just trying to pluck off a couple hairs before you get into the real the good stuff. Thank you, sir. I like how it's looking, man. I do too, man. I uh, just polish, polish, polish. Especially, like I said, with your kind of beard that the hair is like so long, um, you gotta be real careful with it. Those real kinky ones, those uh, really curly ones, very thick ones, you can, it's like having a, it's like a, you're just shaping it, but yours were actually cutting. So it's a little bit of a different uh, approach and stress. Very impressed with your your blow drying skills, man. You like, Appreciate that, man. I saw the picture learn from, of you. Learn from the best. Oh, Brzezinski, <laughs> man! I'm telling you, I'm yeah. telling you. Round brush, little sea salt spray, and uh, classic combo. It's crazy, man. With my, I mean, I know a lot of people have a lot of waves, but man, I mine is just horrendous. If I don't if I don't do anything to it, man. So I literally almost gave up, and then that that dude showed me those videos, man, and I was like, so. Give you hope, man. That's yeah, a, yeah. that's a, that's that's so important, and I think that's a big reason why I've uh, been very successful in my career is that uh, there's people out there just putting out great content yeah. and kind of showing us little tricks of the trade that they figured out the hard way, you know. And it took a little bit to get the the method down, man. But you know, a good month or so of trial and error, finally just kind of got it right and figured out where to put the comb to get the waves and stuff out. And, that right there. Uh, yeah, I like it, man. Looks good. It's the look that we were looking for. Trying to, yeah, with that, that picture? Yeah. Um, a little bit of angle, a little, a little bit of blend. Yeah. How's that? Yeah, on that cheek right there? On the... Yeah, I like it, man. It looks good. With your beard, you always have that, like, uh, you know, I'm, I'm always kind of, I know where the, the spots where it looked messed up were, so I'm like always kind of conscious of it. So feels good, looks good. I mean, it was definitely, kind of showed him a picture so we knew where we were going and he just did exactly, did exactly what we were looking for, man. So looks good.